In the first video, we had an overview of the economic syllabus. In the second video, we understood uh, how should we go about each unit. Now, in this video, let's try to understand uh, or try to get some tips to solve the MCQ questions. Now, what should be the strategy? It's a very simple strategy when we take up the CS Foundation economics exam because in CS Foundation exams, there are no negative markings. So it is pretty clear that we are not supposed to leave out any questions. Say there are 40 questions. Our aim is to answer all 40. Now, how do we go about this? See, there are certain questions where we are very sure. Let's call such questions as uh, sure short questions. Say, for example, the question is something like this. Who is the father of economics? It's a very common and very uh, simple question that is asked. The answer is Adam Smith. So this, these are the sure short questions. There may be questions where you have some sort of doubt. Maybe you are very sure that two of them are not the choices and the answer is in the remaining two. So how do I go about it? This method is called the method of rejection. Say out of the four options that we have, I'm pretty sure that option C and option D are not the answers. So I will simply reject them. I'm left with the remaining two. So what am I supposed to do now? I will bring in my conceptual knowledge and try to link the question that is there with the concept and try to eliminate the remaining one. I'm not telling that whenever we reject or choose the answer, I'm always going to get the right answer, but method of rejection would increase the probability of getting the right answer. This is the second tip that we can follow. The third one is very uh, important. Generally, there are questions where the, op the answer would be none of the above or all the above. This is where the exact trick is. Now, if we take certain questions, say for example, identify the uh, functions of a commercial bank. Option A is receiving deposits. Option B is uh, advancing loans. Option C is providing locker facility. And option D is all of the above. Now, generally what we do is we read the first option and we are very happy that uh, I have found the answer and we take the first one. But in fact, the answer was option D. So how do I deal with such questions? The simple uh, uh, strategy is to have patience, read all the four options. If it is all of the above or none of the above, and if it is option D, there shouldn't be any problem. But to be honest, there is no guarantee that we will have this level of patience while writing the examination. So how do we deal with this? It's very simple. Let's make a small practice or habit from today. Instead of reading from option A to option D, how about reading from option D to option A? If option D is all of the above and none of the above, it is already known to us that there is a probability of the answer being the fourth one. So this is how we can deal with the MCQs. So what are the things to be done? Let me uh, summarize that. First one, let us not leave out any questions because there is no negative marking. Second question, in case we have any doubts, let us adopt the rejection method where we try to reject as many answers as possible and arrive at the right answer. And third one, let us make it a habit in for few questions to read from option D to option A instead of option A to option D. I wish all of you all the best for your exams. Thank you.